After the Olympics last year, the badminton calendar kicked into full gear. Germany's Yvonne Lee was quick to jump on the bandwagon, playing nine tournaments in three months and making a fine run in Bali to qualify for her maiden HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2021. I traveled to Indonesia and I was not sure if I should because I was very tired from the European leg. We had a lot of tournaments in Europe as well. And then I knew what championships are coming up as well. And it's a very proud tournament too, of course. But in the end, I talked to my coach and he told me that I should uh, fight. And I made it to the top 30. So I should grasp this chance and play those high level tournaments, even if it's tiring. And I knew I was gonna travel there with not the best coaching situation for myself. But in the end, I went there and I, I, I went out there and, and won the matches that I was the favorite in or I was able to win. I played good matches against favorites against me and, and I made it to the World Tour Finals. So I got the last spot, so it was very close. And when I went into the match at Indonesia Open, I knew it was very important to win the first round and had a like really hard battle with Neslian. It was a nice match and yeah, I think I was very happy and to be able to play finals after and get even more matches on the top level. And then I think I did a good first match against Shachowam. But after I was overwhelmed by Sindhu and then I got a little bit of a cold and also I think Lena Christofferson played really well in this match, very aggressive and I just couldn't keep up with the speed. And I think I had a disappointing end towards the campaign, but still I think I have progressed a little bit, played myself into, into the top 30, so I'm able to play all the high level tournaments now and I'm able to play frequently against the world class players. Lee's success in 2021 was no coincidence. Her semi-final run at the Denmark Open, followed by her runner-up finish at the Saarlelux Open in 2020, were indications of her immense potential. I think Denmark Open semi-finals and then a week after um, Saarlelux Open finals were two incredible weeks. I was so happy. Because of the pandemic, it was not as strong as it should have been. But still, I knew I had a good chance of making semi-finals. But if you know you have a good chance, then you feel pressured to perform. And still, it was not the strongest, but it was still, I knew it was like 50-50, 50-50. I ought to play well every time if I want to win this. And I did, in the end, play against Carolina Marin in the semi-finals. It was like the first time that I progressed so far in a tournament where I beat multiple players, which were like hard to beat. So I think it was very good for my self-confidence as well. And then reaching the finals at your home tournament afterwards was very nice too. As her nation's top women's singles shuttler at the age of just 23, the lack of internal competition in Germany highlighted some challenges for Lee. I think there is no journey from any badminton player who wants to make it to the World Cup, which has been easy and I don't think mine was easy <laughs> at all. I think in Germany, I think it's sad that we had uh, quite a good like triangle group with two other strong women singles players and unfortunately both of them stopped now. So I have some junior players coming up, but they're still a lot younger than me and I think it's a bit weird that I'm 23, but I'm by far the oldest one now in the group. Fortunately for me, our national singles center is that the men's singles and women's singles train together. So I can often also train with the boys and that's very fortunate for me. So I'm very happy about the training environment I have at home. It's just right now because I'm the only women's singles player or any singles player that is able to play on this tournament, these tournaments that I'm traveling more or less alone. And this is quite hard in terms of getting good training in before tournaments have good coaching and uh, yeah, I think that is the hardest hurdles that I'm facing right now in this time of my career. Lee has certainly made headways in 2021 and the taste of success has only motivated her to push her own boundaries. 
I think 2021 was a very uh, crazy year with a lot of tournaments now at the end, uh, some tournaments at the beginning. Like January, the whole year there were not so many tournaments. But I think Thailand was very memorable because it was like the first tournament in such strict bubble. Then the Olympics, of course. I had European Championships as well. Now we have this cluster of so many tournaments. So uh, definitely crazy. But uh, a lot of things that uh, I also cherish in memories. Um, I'm still hungry for more. I, I really want to be able to compete with the best of the world and have the best competitions on court. I think it's so thrilling, the adrenaline when you play a really hard match and it's neck on neck and the higher the level it goes, the more thrilling it gets, right? So, so that's, that's the goal for me and that's what motivates me. Yeah, I hope in the future badminton fans can see me more and I try to progress step by step and not be too impatient sometimes. <laughs>